Kyle with Rocket Man Plumbing, and today we're going to talk about the differences between tankless hot water heaters and traditional tank hot water heaters. What the differences are between the two, what the advantages are over one compared to the other. Everyone pretty much knows what a regular tank hot water heater is. They come in 30, 40, or 50 gallon sizes and that's what most houses have. The advantage is, number one, the one difference between a, a regular hot water heater and a tankless hot water heater is the, the cost to install one. Um, and this is in the favor of a regular tank hot water heater. Um, the cost is almost double the cost to buy a tankless hot water heater as opposed to a tank hot water heater. And the installation is quite a bit more involved for a tankless hot water heater than a regular one. One reason for that is most regular hot water heaters only have a half inch gas line going to them. It's all they require. But all tankless hot water heaters require a three quarter inch gas line going to them, which means to replace a tank to a tankless We've also got to run a gas line to it, uh, which requires more permits and uh, more time and more money. The biggest advantage of why you would want to change from, from a tank hot water heater to a tankless, and that is if you have the problem of running out of hot water. You know, say you got a, a Brady Bunch thing going at your house where you got people taking a shower after a shower, after a bath, after a shower, and the last person in line doesn't have any hot water. And if that happens regularly, you definitely want, the tankless hot water heater solves ever running out of hot water. That's, that's its biggest advantage. And if you have the problem of running out of water, hot water, you definitely want, that is one of the solutions. Another solution that could be, if you only have a 30 or 40 gallon hot water heater, the solution could be to up to a 50 gallon hot water heater. In truth, you can go up to a 75 gallon regular hot water heater. It all depends on your situation. But like I said, the tankless is, it costs more. Now there's this thing that says that they save you money in the long run because you're not keeping a big tank of hot water hot all the time. It makes the water hot water as you need it. So, and the truth is, yes, there, there is some truth to that. But as far as it actually saving you money, my opinion is by the time it saves you money on your energy bill, it takes years and years and years for that to occur because of the difference of the cost and the installation. By the time uh, it, you might be breaking even, you're, it's probably gonna be time for a new tankless hot water heater. That's just my opinion. You'll get another opinion from somebody else. Now, another thing, if, if you have a, like a giant garden tub that you like to fill up and those require lots of water and a tankless hot water heater would also be probably more advantageous to get that thing totally full than a tank hot water heater. There's yearly maintenance needed on a tankless hot water heater that is required for you to have done in order to keep the warranty of that tankless hot water heater current. And that is basically, it has to be completely flushed out and cleaned every, every year by a professional. And, uh, and if you don't do that, it's not gonna last as long. And like I say, and it can void the warranty if there is a problem with it. So you always have to keep that in mind. And the best thing to do, if you had us install that tankless hot water heater, we would put you on the schedule for once a year and we would make the call to you to make sure that that got done so your warranty stayed current. Regular hot water heaters are also supposed to be flushed out 
they say once a year. There's different thoughts on that. My own opinion is I've, I've gone to lots of houses where the customer went to flush out the hot water heater and the drain valve that doesn't get used, but once a year, doesn't shut back off. And then they ended up calling a plumber to replace the drain valve on the hot water heater. It depends on how hard your water is, whether or not I recommend that you actually flush out a regular tank hot water heater or not. It depends how hard your water is. As far as installing a regular tank hot water heater or a tankless hot water heater, Rocket Man Plumbing installs both. We can go to the site free of charge and give you your give us a recommendation on which one I think you we sh, we think you should have and give you a cost to install both and the choice is yours. Rocketman Plumbing, Kyle Metcalf, have a great day.